Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the Mini. Today I'm going to be going through a full mod list, uh, interior and exterior of everything I've done so far. Uh, prices will be included at the end and then also I'll be letting you know on my future plans for the Mini. Uh, so anyway, let's get into it. So as we're already here, we'll start on the interior. Now for the interior, I've pretty much left it bone stock. I've done absolutely nothing. I've done a little like gel badge here. Uh, I've put a little vinyl stripe there, new cup holder sort of gel pads things, they look really good, and some new red lined floor mats. Um, but yeah, that's really it for the mini on the inside. It's a bit tricky to take things out and pull everything out because it's so well built, so it's a bit tricky to really do anything on the inside. And um, plus, uh, like trim pieces are really expensive for the minis uh, for some reason, so I've left that pretty much stock. So let's move on to the engine. So obviously the biggest mod I've done to the engine bay is put in a AEM cold air induction intake with the Ram S scoop. So it's got this bit, you've got the box obviously, all the piping, and then a secondary heat shield for the turbo, because obviously you don't want the turbo melting the plastic. And then also, this didn't come with the kit, but I put a filter sock on, because obviously living in the UK, daily driving this thing, rain's gonna get in through the, uh, the scoop and get into the intake, so I put that on, just as a bit of added insurance. Uh, moving down here, I put a forge noisemaker delete pipe on. So um, originally this pipe has a thing going into the cabin, which just generates a bit more noise, but this deletes that and bypasses it uh, to ideally increase airflow. I don't know if it's actually doing that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get it, so I put that on. Uh, so that was all right. Uh, moving down here, you cannot see it. You can just about see it in there, a shiny bit. I put a forge blow-off valve adapter on, uh, mainly for the noise. It doesn't really do much in terms of a uh, performance gain, um, but it sounds really good and it was pretty cheap. I think it was like 40, 50 pound. So that was worth putting on. But apart from that, it's pretty much stock in here. I've not really messed with the internals because I mean, it's got 92,000 miles on it now. It's got a big oil leak, it's burning oil. So it wasn't really worth touching any of that. So that's pretty much all I've done for the engine bay. Um, obviously the intake combined with the bulb does make a lot of nice noises. Um, but yeah, that's it for the engine, let's move on. So for the front of the car, I've just done a few bits. I put a bigger bonnet scoop on, so the, the stock one fits flush, but this one sort of sticks out a bit. It's nice and piano gloss black as well. I put a little S badge on the front, which is again very cheap. And obviously I've done a bit of chrome delete there, the, uh, the headlights and the washer bowls. So back of the car, the wonder, I've put again, more chrome delete on around the lights um, on the, uh, the boot strip. I was planning on putting a G-Wing on, but I don't know if I'll be doing that now. So again, fairly stock. I've just done sort of some chrome delete, some decorative stuff. I've got some black badges, which I need to put on. So the creme de la creme at the back is the Scorpion uh, non-resonated cat bag exhaust, which I put on. That has honestly made the car so much nicer to drive. Sounds incredible. Nice pops and bangs and crackles. Uh, obviously it's a bit dirty, you need to wash, but you know, we're in a drought at the moment, so what can you do? But yeah, honestly, this exhaust absolutely makes the car. I was planning on putting sports cats on as well. Again, don't know if I'll do that now. But yeah, a nice Scorpion catback exhaust there. Now, moving on to the side. We've got, again, some more chrome delete there on the door handles and on the belt line trim there. But the best thing is these Bowler B10 wheels. Now these things I got used, they came in gunmetal gray. I'm planning on getting them spray gloss black to match the rest of the car. Um, but I got, I got these used obviously, so I'm not entirely sure on the offset and all of the sizes and that. But you know, I got them at such a good price, they were worth getting used. So I think they look really nice on the car. And also, look at that, a bit of camber as well from the, uh, the coilovers. And the coilovers are Tain Street 
Z bases, I think. Are they getting just about to see in there? Um, but they have dropped the car by quite a bit. I can't remember the exact measurements, but you can just about fit your hand in there now. Um, but it's dropped the car by probably about that much. Um, so they're well worth doing. They make the car handle so much better as well around the tight corners. Honestly, again, night and day difference. And they also add that nice little bit of camber there. So well worth doing. So on these side pillars here, another thing I've done is on both sides, I've done some little Star Wars stickers because I'm a huge nerd. And then I've also done some nice new LED uh, side indicators as well as paint the side scuttles. So that's just a bit of chrome delete makes the car look a lot more aggressive and these look really good at night as well so that's definitely worth doing so there you go that is the full mod list of the mini so far sorry if that was really rushed and i was really out of breath but it's super it's like 35 degrees outside it's the second heat wave we've had here in the uk this year so it's super high outside and i'm filming a golf course as well i keep getting stirred by golfers um but yeah so that is the full quick rundown of everything I've done to the Mini so far. Just mods, not maintenance. Maintenance, oh my God. This car, that'll be a whole nother video. I'll put the prices all up here now. There, if they fit, my huge shoulders are probably in the way. So there we go, that's all those. I don't quite know off the top of my head how much I've spent, but you can see it here. Um, but I have spent a fair bit on this car where I probably shouldn't have, but I love it. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the mods or anything that I've done to the car, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer them if I know the answer to them. Um, but yeah, I have done a fair bit on this car and I've learned quite a lot about it, so ask away really. Now in terms of uh, the future for this car, I'm not entirely sure. I want to continue doing some small bits to it, um, but I've just given up uh, my job for a year to do a uni course, so I can't really afford to spend too much more on it. Plus. I have just bought another car, my dream car, which will be the next video I post, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any more big things like sports cats or, you know, a lot of engine stuff because I can't really afford to. But little cosmetic bits I will probably still do and I'll try to record them for you guys. Not that anyone's interested, but I enjoy doing it, so I'll try and film them if I can. Um, but yeah, in terms of the big things for this car, I think that's probably about it for now um, until I get another job in a few years or whatever. So once again, apologies for the speed of this video. But again, it's absolutely baking and I want to go for a drive before it gets up to like 36 degrees today because it's mad. So yeah, if you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, don't. Stay tuned for the next video where I reveal my dream car, which I've got sat at home waiting for you guys. But yeah, anyway, peace out. Bye.